Developing tonight, crews are figuring out a way to salvage a historic church after the roof collapses. They will be back out tomorrow morning trying to stabilize the building. New 6's Lauren Cervantes is outside the Black Bottom House of Prayer in Orlando with the pastor's hopes for the future of the building. It is a quiet night out here tonight. No crews out demoing the church behind me. It has been an emotional day for the pastor of this church after the roof collapsed. The roof done fell in and part of the roof, it might shift and knock the wall down. I don't know. But somebody need to get out here and court all this off for these kids come through here later on today. Make sure they safe. Audio from a 911 call about the roof of the Black Bottom House of Prayer collapsing. Firefighters telling News 6 no one was inside at the time, but one person in the adjacent apartment building needed to be rescued. Some work was done today to ensure the safety of the public and those nearby. Apparently, um, they needed to do some work to keep the uh, neighborhood safe, to keep it from falling out in the streets. But Pastor Dana Jackson is thankful her church wasn't completely demolished. I saw the demolition crew come in. They was about to really tear the church up. And so uh, with um, code enforcement and Commissioner Hill, they were able to come up with an action plan and, and secure the facility. Pastor Jackson says they are not going to demolish the church and that an action plan to preserve it is in the works. All of this after Orlando's Historic Preservation Board voted just yesterday to move forward in designating the church as an historic landmark. Too much of the black history of the Paramount area has been torn down and taken away, and I, I'm fighting to keep the last piece of treasure that we have. Crews are expected to be out here tomorrow morning for what city leaders are calling the start of the preservation process. In Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.